On the 8th of September 1998, the government of Cameroon set up a corporation fully owned by the state with a view to developing adequate resources to bolster access to the information society. Located at the mouth of the Gulf of Guinea, Cameroon, so rich with diversity that it has been christened, Africa in miniature opens up to the world through three major gateways to the Atlantic Ocean, including Kribi, whose deep sea port is awaiting inauguration. Indeed, Kribi is the theater for the experimentation of the very first digital city in Cameroon. As such, the city is at the heart of every enterprise. Of over 10,000 kilometers of optical fiber deployed by Camtel throughout the country and servicing all the 10 regions of our country, Kribi is surrounded by two secure telecommunications loops, the one on the Chad Cameroon pipeline and another coming from Edea, the City of Lights, thus connecting the town to the national optical fiber backbone. Still, on this infrastructure, Kribi's coastline is already host to one landing point. Indeed, the Nigeria to Cameroon Submarine Cable System NCSCS, connects Kribi to Lagos. Another submarine cable, Africa Coast to Europe ACE, is planned to land at Kribi very soon. While waiting for other advanced partnerships to increase the spectrum of Kribi's digital coverage, the CBCS project is in itself a rather remarkable one. It is the first cable that will connect Africa to Latin America, Cameroon being one of the cornerstones of the consortium that will be built around the system. So, Kribi, but also Cameroon, Central Africa and Africa as a whole stand most to gain from this tremendous infrastructure. This is a huge opportunity to increase and secure the flow of communications to and from the African continent in an era marked by cybercrime and all sorts of malicious intent. As such, there could have been no better choice than Brazil, the land of legends, to forge a strong and mutual beneficial alliance that will establish the international notoriety of the corporations and states that will have thus devoted themselves to build an infrastructure commensurate with the vision they have of communication now and communication in the future. Here again, we could not have chosen better partners than China Unicom, Exim Bank China, Huawei Technologies, and Telefonica to accompany us in an enterprise marked by experience sharing and common ambitions to build the 32 terabytes the CBCS is meant to offer. This is an edifice that will reconstruct history through the Atlantic and radiate Cameroon's international reputation from the depths of the ocean. All this thanks to one architect, Cameroon Telecommunications.